Finance Bill 22 contains an amendment in Section 14A. The Finance Bill seeks to introduce an explanation to clarify that it was the intention of the government and for removal of doubts, even in a situation where the SSE has not earned any income which does not form part of the total income, still the disallowance of any expenditure or allowance under Section 14A can be made. They have also clarified that this explanation is a notwithstanding amendment. What was the controversy which the explanation seeks to resolve? We have Supreme Court decisions where SLP in favor of the SSC by the High Courts, those SLPs filed before the Supreme Court were dismissed. In the case of Invest, in the case of Chetinad Logistics and the respective High Courts had taken a view that where there is no exempt income earned, even there is an expenditure in relation to earning of that exempt income, no disallowance under Section 14A can be made since there is no exempt income. The CBDT issued a circular 5 in 2014 to clarify that despite these decisions, the intention of the government in any case was that disallowance under 14A could apply even if there was no exempt income earned. And the memorandum now says that because the court decisions are not in line with the government uh, intention, therefore this amendment is introduced. Interestingly, the amendment is coming with effect from 1422. And therefore, the most interesting question that will arise, we have now moved to a situation where dividend income is not exempt. And therefore, the sting of 14A in so far as it applied to dividend income, that sting is missing. But since the amendment, amendment is worded as a clarificatory amendment in line with what is stated in the memorandum, whether this will be considered to be retrospective in nature and therefore apply to pending assessments, pending appeals at whatever forum will become an interesting issue. There would be a lot of arguments and therefore definitely a arguable case to say that the amendment is prospective given the SLP which is dismissed and in, in one of the SLPs, the SLP has been dismissed on merits as well. Again, we are headed for interesting times in so far as the ghost of 14A with regard to exempt dividend income.